subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates green hydrogen is not a fuel everyone talks about not yet for the first time in history this unique fuel powered the olympic flame in the tokyo olympics the olympic village was also powered by green hydrogen made at solar power plant Toyota's Mirai cars which run on hydrogen fuel cells provided most of the game's official transport. Now this new age fuel does more than drawing intrigue. As far as automobiles are concerned, electric power is undoubtedly the future. The supply of metals and minerals to produce lithium batteries is limited. Thus the total number of electric batteries that can be produced is also limited. Nevertheless, lithium ion battery powered electric vehicles have gained momentum in most parts of the world. On the other hand, hydrogen fuel cells are yet to leave their mark. But there is no doubt they will lead the race of new fuel riches very soon. Hi, I am Tanushri Banerji, editor of Equity Masters Blue Chip Recommendation Service Stock Select. Welcome to Safe Stocks where we discuss ideas to create and preserve wealth in the safest stocks. If you haven't subscribed to the Equity Master YouTube channel yet, please do so and click on the bell icon to get notifications for my latest videos. Now, why do I say hydrogen will lead the race of new fuel riches very soon? All energy on our planet comes from the sun's hydrogen fusion processes. Fossil fuels are the result of the sun's energy stored through the life and death cycles of plants and animals. According to Union Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, India produced 15,300 petajoules of energy in 2020. Of this, 81% was derived from fuels such as coal, oil, and natural gas. In fact, fossil fuels have been the fuel of choice for decades, despite causing permanent damage to our environment. India is estimated to produce 35,825 petajoules of energy by 2040. So, according to the International Energy Agency. transitioning to an alternative clean energy source is the need of the hour green hydrogen is the infinitely sustainable result of the sun's radiation so the shift to hydrogen for fuel is simply the shift away from depleting finite sources of fossil fuel green hydrogen is produced by splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen using an electrolyzer This electrolyzer is powered by electricity from renewable sources such as wind and solar. This can be a game changer for India which imports 85% of its oil and 53% of its gas demand. Governments world over are backing green hydrogen projects to reduce greenhouse gas emissions especially in heavy industries like steel and energy storage. But hydrogen transport will need rapid production methods to create the fuel needed for the world's fleet. The government's national hydrogen mission has proposed building giga factories to produce green hydrogen. However, it's premature to speculate whether green hydrogen will be the next fuel to power India's infrastructure. The success of these initiatives is in the right mix of intra and intersectoral policies. It's clear that our decisions today will have a long-lasting impact on the country's energy story. The evolution of hydrogen fuel cells does not mean that lithium cells are going away anytime soon. Lithium is no ordinary metal. It has the lowest density of all metals. It reacts vigorously with water. Though not as rare as precious metals like gold, silver and platinum, lithium is said to have a dominant industrial use in an increasing electronic world. Companies like Amar Raja Batteries are setting up massive lithium battery capacities. They have received major tax incentives from the government to invest in EV battery capacities. India plans to produce lithium ion cells on its own without relying on imports. This is a move which will make electric vehicles considerably cheaper and easier to adopt. Companies like Tata Power, Tata Chemicals and Exide are also investing in battery technology and charging infrastructure. over time the lithium batteries would be more affordable and readily available but there is another problem with lithium at the end of its life cycle a lithium ion battery offers considerably less range than the hydrogen fuel cell so it's important that the indian companies investing in battery technology adopt the green hydrogen fuel cells too meanwhile green hydrogen can help india in geopolitics 
India is behind the curve as far as securing key raw materials such as lithium and cobalt is concerned. China has a massive head start here. So there is a concern that India may end up being dependent on others for lithium in the same way as it is for crude oil right now. But green hydrogen is still at a nascent stage. No country has a definitive edge in this fuel. It offers a much better chance for India to nudge ahead. Notwithstanding its efficacy, the high energy content of hydrogen poses some risks too. Automotive fuels are highly inflammable. A vehicle laden with hydrogen is likely to be more vulnerable in the case of a major accident. Hydrogen stations will need to adapt to more stringent safety measures. In other words, the technology of hydrogen fuel cells needs to be far superior in terms of safety. All of this is a chance for India to innovate and cash in on the latent demand for new age fuels. Indian companies have missed out on many technology led innovations in the past. Green hydrogen presents India with an opportunity to lead the change. Investors who can spot the inflection point in innovative battery components have a huge runway of profits ahead of them. I will keep writing about such new age fuels in the Profit Hunter and will keep talking about it in my new videos. Hope you like this video. Stay tuned for more such videos on India's most profitable long term mega trends. Thanks for watching.